Hi there. Today, we're embarking on a captivating journey as we step back in time to explore the legendary TV series, Chips. I'm sure many of you hold fond memories of this classic show. Chips is a timeless gem that has left an indelible mark on television history. Join us as we relive the magic, revisiting the series with the entire cast, then and now. We'll uncover the original identities and ages of the talented actors from the show and witness how they've transformed in the year 2023. So without further ado, let's dive into the world of Chips Together, Eric Estrada, as Officer Frank Poncherello. Ponch's full name is Francis Llewellyn Poncherello. He attended Lehigh Polytechnical High School and holds the record for the highest number of visits to the principal's office. During his school days, Ponch played basketball, a sport he cherished since childhood, inspired by watching the Globetrotters. Excelling in the game, he earned the nickname High Points Ponch. His basketball prowess came to light when, despite being initially incapacitated by nitrous oxide, he made a triumphant return to a CHP versus Rams game, securing victory for the team. In 1970, Estrada marked his cinematic debut in the role of Nicky Cruz, alongside Pat Boone in the independent film The Cross and the Switchblade. Two years later, he played a small part as a police officer in The New Centurions, followed by a significant role in the Jack Smite disaster film Airport 1975, portraying Julio, the womanizing flight engineer on a Boeing 747. The subsequent year saw him collaborate with Smite again in the military historical epic Midway, portraying the fictional Airman Inns. Chili Bean Ramos Estrada's marital journey includes a brief union with Joyce Miller in November 1979, ending in divorce in 1980 with no children. His second marriage was to Peggy Lynn Rowe, an entertainment executive, songwriter, and producer, lasting from 1985 to 1990. The couple had two sons, Anthony Eric, born 1986, and pole vaulter Brandon Michael Paul, born 1987. In 1997, Estrada married film sound technician Nanette Mirkovic, and they share a daughter, Francesca Natalia, born 2000. Residing in Studio City, California, U.S., he is a member of the Blue Knights Motorcycle Club and the Loyal Order of Moose Fraternal and Service Organization. Estrada publicly endorsed Republican John McCain in the 2008 United States presidential election and served as the celebrity guest at the Pekin Marigold Festival in Pekin, Illinois in September 2017. Larry Wilcox as Officer John Baker. John possesses an innate talent for leading others and earned recognition from the captain for his exemplary leadership during an open house event. In the absence of Guetraire due to illness, John seamlessly assumed his responsibilities, ensuring the smooth operation of the station. Moreover, during a station strike, John was dispatched to another station where he once again demonstrated effective leadership. This proven leadership acumen paved the way for his future, as evidenced by his subsequent promotion to the rank of captain. Wilcox made a guest appearance in the television series Room 222 in 1971. In 1973, he featured in an episode of The Streets of San Francisco titled The Runaways, portraying the role of older brother George. Additionally, in the same year, Wilcox starred in Lassie as Dale, a former resident who had grown up on the farm and returned to work as a hired hand. His presence extended to an episode of Canon titled Target in the Mirror in 1973, where he played the role of a witness. In 1982, Wilcox departed from ships and established his production company, Wilcox Productions. The company successfully produced the acclaimed TV series The Ray Bradbury Theater for HBO over five years. Wilcox demonstrated his creative prowess by developing and selling projects such as The Yorkshire Ripper to MGM and The Wolfman Jack Story to Columbia. Later, he selected Flipper and served as the executive producer for the Universal Pictures movie. 
Wilcox's personal life includes his first marriage to Judy Wagner on March 29, 1969, during the final months of his service after returning from the Vietnam War. Together, they had two children, Derek and Heidi. His second marriage was to Hanny Strasser, a Dutch native and former CHIPS assistant sound technician, in a ceremony on April 11, 1980. They welcomed their daughter, Wendy, in 1982, but eventually divorced after her birth. On March 22, 1986, Wilcox married Marlene Harmon, a member of the 1980 Olympic pentathlon team, and they share two sons, Chad and Ryan, Robert Pine as Sergeant Joseph Gatrier. Though Joe Gatrier appears to be in charge of the precinct, he ultimately reports to his captain, who makes infrequent appearances on the show, but is consulted occasionally. Getrier conducts morning briefings before his officers begin their shifts, along with an afternoon briefing, where he typically shares information about city events. While generally calm and easygoing, there is a moment in Vigilante where he loses his temper with some colleagues after a biking mishap. Upon arriving in Hollywood in 1964, Pine immersed himself in horseback riding training, a skill crucial for his roles in westerns as a contract player with Universal Studios. This affiliation lasted until 1967. Pine's extensive career includes starring in the soap opera Days of Our Lives as Walter Coleman and making guest appearances on numerous American television shows such as Gunsmoke, Lost in Space, The Silent Force, The Wild Wild West, Barnaby Jones, Lou Grant, and Knight Rider. In a flashback episode of Magnum P.I., he portrays Thomas Magnum's father. Pine also contributed to the Star Trek franchise, guest starring in Star Trek. Voyager as the Akrotirian ambassador Lyria in the season three episode, The Shoot, and in Star Trek, Enterprise as Vulcan captain, Tavin in the season one episode, Fusion. His diverse credits extend to shows like Six Feet Under, Beverly Hills 90220, and Match Game. In September 2013, Pine assumed the role of Grandpa Jack in Kaiser Permanente's television ad Thrive Perfectly Ordinary and lent his voice to the Bishop of Arendelle in Disney's 2013 animated film Frozen. Paul Linka as Officer Arthur Grossman. Grossi serves as a motor patrol officer, frequently assisting in the aftermath of major accidents. Known for his fondness for gambling, Grossi often initiates betting activities, such as those related to basketball, John's Rodeo, or bowling, involving the entire precinct. Although Gatrayer disapproves of Grossi running books, he occasionally indulges in a bet as long as it results in a win. Throughout his career, Linka made appearances on numerous television series, including The Waltons, Laverne and Shirley, Happy Days, Mace H., Knott's Landing, St. Elsewhere, Quantum Leap, and Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman. Linka featured in a 1985 episode of Three's a Crowd, a short-lived television sitcom spin-off of Three's Company starring John Ritter. Three years later, Linka collaborated with Ritter again when he joined the cast of Hooperman, the ABC drama series led by Ritter. In 2003, Linka delivered a speech at Ritter's memorial service. In 2000, Linka co-wrote and directed the stage play Save It for the Stage, The Life of Riley, alongside actor Charles Nelson Riley, later adapted into the 2006 film The Life of Riley. Linka also appeared in the 2016 family drama film An American Girl Story, Mary Ellen, 1955, Extraordinary Christmas, portraying the role of Mary Ellen Larkin's grandfather. Linka's personal life includes his first marriage to Francesca Chex Draper, a musician and composer, in 1978. They had three children together, Jasper, Ryan, and Rose. Following Chex's death from cancer in 1986, Linka channeled his grief into the creation of the play Time Flies When You're Alive. Initially presented as a one-man show in Los Angeles and HBO drama, the work evolved into the book Time Flies When You're Alive, a real-life love story. In 2016, 
Linke performed a follow-up one-man show titled It's Time, delving into themes of tragedy, death, and coping. Linke entered his second marriage with Christine Healy in 1991, and they share a daughter named Lily. Brody Greer as Officer Barry Baricha. Baricha, affectionately known as Bear among his close circle, serves as a patrol car officer. Possessing both height and handsomeness, he greets the world with a warm smile. Baricha shares the same beat with John and Ponch, frequently appearing at the scenes of accidents either en route or already present. His primary responsibilities involve traffic control and serving as transportation for both the criminal element and members of the public in need of assistance. Greer pursued his education at Santa Monica Junior College and San Jose State University, where he played as a safety for the San Jose State Spartans football team from 1969 to 1971. While his initial significant role was on Days of Our Lives, Officer Barry Bear Baricha in Chips became his most notable portrayal. Greer featured in 53 episodes between 1977 and 1982, also reprising his role in the reunion special Chips 99. A highlight in Greer's acting career includes being a featured player in the Love Boat episode Abby's Maiden Voyage, aired on February 26, 1983. Transitioning into semi-retirement in 2010, Greer currently coaches volleyball and basketball for middle and high schools in Carmel, California. Lou Wagner as Harlan Arliss. Harlan Arliss takes on the role of the precinct's mechanic, responsible for the maintenance of all motorbikes and patrol cars. His faithful companion, a dog named Dave, is said to have worked as a sniffer dog for the border, as shared by Grossman. Whenever John and Ponch approach Harlan, seeking his expertise on their bikes, he consistently examines the vehicles and reassures them that everything appears to be in order. Wagner initiated his acting career during his teenage years, gaining recognition for multiple appearances in Jack Webb's revival series, Dragnet, 1967, playing various roles. He notably featured as Schuyler Schultz, a young passenger in the highly successful film Airport. However, Wagner is perhaps most renowned for his portrayal of the rebellious chimpanzee in the original 1968 film, Planet of the Apes. As of 2018, he stands as one of the last two surviving principal cast members from Planet of the Apes. Randy Oakes as Officer Bonnie Clark. Bonnie Clark hails from Randalia, Iowa, where she spent her upbringing on a farm, cultivating a fondness for daredevil shows, farming, and dirt track racing. At the age of 19, Bonnie encountered her former boyfriend, Ray Connor, in Iowa. Besides Iowa, she mentioned having relatives in Kentucky. During high school, Bonnie took a Spanish language class, retaining her ability to speak and frequently translating it into English during investigations. Oakes emerged as a recurring guest star on television series in the late 1970s and early 1980s, featuring in roles on McLeod, Del Vecchio, Switch, BJ and the Bear, Barnaby Jones, The Love Boat, and Fantasy Island. She notably portrayed Sally in the 1978 theatrical crime drama Acapulco Gold and held recurring roles as Georgia on the 1977 television series Rosetti and Ryan and as a young Taurus woman on the original Battlestar Galactica. Oakes actively participated in various editions of Circus of the Stars, becoming a frequent contender on and a one-time host of Battle of the Network Stars. Notably, she experienced more dunks than any other participant in the baseball dunk event. After welcoming her first child in 1985, Oakes decided to retire from acting and focus on being a full-time mother. Oakes and Harrison entered matrimony on December 21, 1980, keeping their union a secret from the public for several years. They share three daughters, Emma Lee, born 1985, Lily Ann, born 1989, and Kate, born 1991. Additionally, the couple adopted a son, Quinn Edgar. While initially residing together in Sherman Oaks, California, the family has called Southern Oregon home since the early 1990s, first in Gold Beach, 
Oregon, for 15 years, and later in Eugene, Oregon. Michael Dorn as Officer Jebediah Turner. Dorn made notable appearances in the television series Ships, 1979-1982, and lent his voice to characters like Coldstone and Taurus in the animated series Gargoyles, 1994-1997, Calibac in the DC animated universe I Am Weasel in I Am Weasel, 1997-2000, Lord Darkar in the Nickelodeon dub of Winx Club, 2011, and Captain Mozart in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, 2015-2016. Post his Star Trek tenure, he took on supporting roles in various independent feature films, including Shadow Hours, 2000, Lessons for an Assassin, 2001, and the Santa Claus Trilogy. Dorn reprised his character Worf for cameo appearances on Webster and Family Guy, the latter alongside several of his fellow Next Generation castmates. He played a recurring role on the television series Castle, portraying the therapist of NYPD police detective Kate Beckett. A member of the Aircraft Owners and Pilots Association, Dorn is an accomplished pilot with experiences flying alongside the Blue Angels and the Thunderbirds owning several jet aircraft, including a Lockheed T-33 shooting star, humorously dubbed his Starship, a North American F-86 Sabre, and currently a North American Sabre liner, Dorn is actively involved in aviation organizations. This includes serving on the advisory board of the Air Force Aviation Heritage Foundation. Additionally, he contributed to interviews for the Private Jets episode of Modern Marvels on the History Channel. In a 2010 interview, Dorn revealed that he had received a diagnosis of an early, early stage of prostate cancer, prompting him to adopt a vegan lifestyle. Lou Saunders as Officer Gene Fritz between 1977 and 1979, Saunders portrayed Officer Gene Fritz during the initial two seasons and a single episode of the third season in the NBC crime drama series. Ships that Saunders had a brief stint with the Atlanta Falcons football team. His acting journey commenced in 1975 with a role in the police procedural series Bronk. His television career saw guest appearances on various programs, including the A-Team, L.A. Law, Riptide, Trapper John, M.D., Hunter, Hardcastle, and McCormick, Murder, She Wrote, Quincy, M.E., Jake, and the Fat Man, Dynasty, and Matt Houston. Additionally, he graced the big screen in films like Cocktail, Terror Among Us, and Demonoid, taking on the role of Sergeant Leo Matson. In 1998, Saunders retired from acting, marking his final appearance in the television drama film The Rat Pack, where he portrayed the character Big John. Tom Riley as Officer Bobby Hot Dog Nelson. Before embarking on his acting journey, he gained recognition as a standout football player at Montclair State College, now Montclair State University, in Upper Montclair, New Jersey, although he eventually chose to discontinue his education. On June 18, 1982, he entered the NBC studios for a screen test, marking the beginning of his Chips career as Officer Rick Nichols in the May 23, 1982, episode 4-7, initially conceived as a pilot for a new series. Following Larry Wilcox's departure, Tom later returned to the show, taking on the role of Officer Bobby Nelson, the fresh partner of Paunch, Eric Estrada. While his portrayal of Officer Bobby Nelson became less prominent in the final episodes, his character's younger brother, Officer Bruce Nelson, Bruce Penhall, ultimately assumed the role of Ponch's partner in the episode Fast Company. Chip saw its conclusion by the spring of 1983, and Bobby Nelson did not make a reappearance in the reunion film, Chip's 99. His acting career concluded in 1997, and by 2005, he had transitioned to working at Orco Construction Supply in Salinas, California. Presently, he resides in the Monterey Peninsula with his wife and two children, Clarence Gilyard Jr., as Officer Benjamin Webster. 
Benjamin Webster served as a patrol officer for the California Highway Patrol, Central Los Angeles Division. In 1979, Gilliard moved to Los Angeles to pursue an acting career. Among his various roles, one notable performance was in the play Bleacher Bums, earning him the title of the first black actor to portray a cheerleader. Before transitioning to television roles in True Colors, 227, Simon and & Simon, and Riptide. In 2006, Gilliard retired from acting and became an associate professor at the College of Fine Arts, Department of Theater at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, where he taught acting for both stage and screen. He continued teaching for several years. After his passing, the chair of the film department at the university stated, Professor Gilliard was a lighthouse bringing light and strength to everyone around UNLV. Gilliard was married twice and had six children. His first marriage to Catherine Dutko in 1989 ended in divorce, and he later married his second wife, Elena Castillo, in 2001. He served as an advisor to the media committee of the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops. After a prolonged illness, Gilliard passed away at his residence in Las Vegas, Nevada, on November 28, 2022, at the age of 66. Brianne Leary as Officer Cindy Cahill. Cindy Cahill holds badge number 4C72 and came to Central with a determination to prove herself. She aimed to be treated equally to male officers and found her true calling as a motor officer, commuting to work on her motorcycle. Despite her riding expertise, she has yet to ride a police motor, and if she does, she would become the first female motor officer in Central. Leary's mother served as the assistant city editor for the Arizona Daily Star, and she is a relative of writer Timothy Leary. During her high school years at Canyon del Oro in Tucson, Arizona, Leary excelled as a gymnastics champion, earning a top three finish at the 1974 state championship. Leary made her initial television appearance as a contestant on Match Game 76, winning several games and accumulating a total of $9,050 over four episodes. Returning three years later as a celebrity panelist, she became the only person to participate in both capacities on the 1970s version of the show, aside from Kirstie Alley in 2019. She also took part in Battle of the Network Stars Fee in November 1978 and Battle of the Network Stars 6 in May 1979. From 1996 to 1998, Leary co-created the Canadian animated children's TV show Stickin' Around alongside Robin Steele, who previously worked on MTV's Stick Figure Theater. In 2007, Leary received a patent for her invention, the Paw Plunger, a portable device designed for cleaning an animal's pal. We reflect on the incredible journey of the Chipes cast from 1977 to 1983. Witnessing their growth and transformations, it's evident that the bond forged during those years has left an enduring legacy. From thrilling highway pursuits to heartwarming moments, these actors brought the California Highway Patrol to life. Their stories continue to resonate with fans around the world. As we explore their then and now, we celebrate the enduring impact of the Chips family. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic trip down the California highways with the remarkable Chips cast of yesteryear.